hello friends welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Erin and if this is your first time here welcome to booked and busy welcome to my winter tbr so here are all the books not all that's a lot here are some of the books that i hope to read in the months of january february and march um i have a large stack of i want to say maybe 40 ish books this is some of these books are stand-ins for their entire series um we have a mix of series that i want to marathon um books for video projects and then like my obligatory reads and books i just want to read so um this may seem like a lot and may not seem attainable for some but last year i averaged like 26 and a half books a month so for three months it's like 70 books and so given that this is like 40 i think we're good uh so yeah let's get into the books these are not in any particular order but i will tell you what they're for to a degree so let's get into it so the first thing I want to talk about is The Ember Blade by Chris Wooding. This is the first book in an epic fantasy series, but it has been almost five years since this first book came out. I heard about it last year or maybe the year before last, and it was pitched as like, this is kind of be my perfect book. But the sequel to this, The Shadow Casket, is about to come out in February. So I'm like, I want to read it now so that I can dive straight into that if I like it. So this one is about this young man who has to find his destiny but he has to steal it he's in i'm gonna read the synopsis because that's like a horrible pitch aaron has lived his life by the rules he's never questioned it that's just the way things are but then his father is executed for treason and he and his best friend kate are thrown into a prison mine doomed to work until they drop unless they can somehow break free but what lies beyond the prison walls is even worse rescued by a man who hates him yet is oath bound to protect him pursued by inhuman forces aaron slowly accepts that the rules are not there to protect him or his people but to enslave them a revolution is brewing and aaron is being drawn into it whether he likes it or not the ember blade is the key the sword of kings the excalibur of his people but it's locked in an impenetrable vault in the most heavily guarded fortress in the land all they have to do is steal it and i've heard there's a really good friendship bromance dynamic in here and i love that in fantasy so i'm looking forward to that next book we have chain of gold like i said i am trying to uh read all the YA books on my show so i'm actually going to be doing a dedicated blog for this uh last hour trilogy in the month of february i don't really know what this one is about but i think y'all know because y'all are probably more familiar with the shadow hunter universe than i am i'm going to be starting there a series that i want to marathon but i'm going to be starting with the grace of kings i'm going to be reading this for an episode of uh easily influenced i'm bringing reviving that series bringing it back this is the first book in an epic fantasy series and this is a prequel essentially to the story that kenley wanted to tell in the dandelion dynasty um and this is like silk punk fantasy so i'm really fo looking forward to getting into this i talked a bit more about what it was about in my series that i want to marathon priority series tbr video so check that out if you want a more detailed synopsis but that is something that's coming the next two books are books for the vampire vlog that i've been working on since august of september september 2021 and it's coming out in february so we've got dracula by ram stoker the classic original-esque but not really vampire tale i'm looking really looking forward to this i have this beautiful edition as well as empire of the vampire the book that inspired this entire video um looking forward to reading these i only have like one more book beyond that to read for the vampire vlog before it finally will see the light of day so i know monty will be very happy about that um i have two project videos that i'm working on one is me reading booktubers best books of 2022 and two of the books that are on that list are we spread by ann reed which is a horror novel that has to do with trusting your own mind and dementia and whether you don't know things because something sinister is happening around you or because you're aging and it talks about like the fears and things associated with aging as well as notes on an execution this is like a literary fiction novel that takes a look at serial killers and the the role they have in society and this is through the lens of three women the three women who are in this man's life and he is on death row i believe and scheduled to be executed soon so i'm looking forward to that the next two are for a video that you may or may not have seen by the time this comes out but i am reading the best fantasy books of 2022 so on my tbr i have two dark academia novels the first is the atlas six by olivia blake this is about the six people who are trying to be in the alexandrian society six will try only five will make it 
this all I know and then we have Babel and Arcane History by Rebecca Kwong or Ira Kwong and this is alternate history fantasy um, that takes place during 1800s Britain and a group of people have been brought to Babel this language of translation which is like the center of colonial power during this time so I'm looking forward to finding out my thoughts on both of those the next ones we have a stack of books that are series that I want to marathon and then we have other books for projects so let's get into it so these next three one of my goals this year was to read more sci-fi I wanted to read 25 so I have three on the list to start us out I may read more than this but I at least want to start out with these three so we've got The Nemesis by S.J. Kincaid which is the third book in the Diabolic series this is YA all these three books are YA sci-fi uh, and this one has to do with like artificial intelligence and like a robot who is posing as a human and then she's found out in this like intergalactic empire and things like that. Uh, I really enjoyed that. That'll be a vlog that you'll see uh, sometime end of January, beginning of February with me rereading that. Next one we have A Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rindell. This I picked up on the recommendation of Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte. She said this is like Les Mis in space and the synopsis sounds really intriguing. Uh, this one it says uh, we have a multi POV story. We have a thief, an officer, and a guardian. Three strangers, one shared destiny. When the last days came, the planet of Latir promised hope. But 500 years later, it's now a place where an extravagant elite class reigns supreme, where the clouds hide the stars and the poor starve in the streets, where a rebel group long thought dead is resurfacing. Whispers of revolution have begun, a revolution that hinges on three unlikely heroes. Chatine is a street savvy thief who will do anything to escape the brutal regime, including spying on Marcellus, the grandson of the most powerful man on the planet. Marcellus is an officer and the son of a traitor. Groomed to command by his legendary grandfather, Marcellus begins to doubt the government he's vowed to serve when he discovers a cryptic message that only one person, a girl named Alouette, can read. Alouette is living in an underground refuge where she guards and protects the last surviving library on the planet. But a shocking murder will bring Alouette to the surface for the first time in 12 years and plunge Latere into chaos. All three have roles to play in a dangerous game of revolution and together they will shape the future of a planet. Power, romance, and destiny can lie in the sleeping reimagining of Victor Hugo's masterpiece, Les Mis. Uh, I'm excited about this because while YA fantasy doesn't work for me often these days, I find that YA sci-fi slaps. So I'm excited about that. And then this is one of the books that are on my These Books Will Self-Destruct in Six Months video and that is The Loop by Ben Oliver. This is about this prison um, and life there is on a loop uh, and this young boy has spent 736 days waiting his execution and then all of a sudden things happen and he has to decide if breaking out is worth the potential risk and things like that. Next up we've got um, Becoming by Michelle Obama. So Not A Book Club is going to be reading The Light We Carry in the month of February. Well it's the January February selection and I know that The Light We Carry picks up essentially where Becoming left off so I want to read Becoming and The Light We Carry to be prepared for that discussion that's going to happen at the end of February. Next up we have The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. This is a historical fiction alternate history type of novel and we follow I think the Nunnerill Mozart who is the older sister of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and it's about her life as Wolfgang's sister as well as her being a comp accomplished musician herself but because she's a girl she doesn't have the same opportunities and that once she becomes of age she's gonna have to essentially step away from music and the life beyond that and this is about this magical world called the Kingdom of Back that they create with one another. Next up we have a buddy read that I'm going to be doing with Monty in January and that is Night Crawling by Layla Motley. This is a, a literary fiction novel that has taken the world by storm. It's an Oprah's book club book. It was nominated for the Booker Prize um, and it was written by like a 17 year old black girl and I'm really really excited to be reading this one and I've heard it's very emotional. So we have Kiara and her brother Marcus are scraping by in an East Oakland apartment complex optimistically called the Regal High. Both have dropped out of high school, their family fractured by death in prison, but while Marcus clings to his dreams of rap stardom, Kiara hunts for work to pay their rent, which is more than doubled, and to keep the nine-year-old boy next door abandoned by his mother safe and fed. One night, what begins as a drunken misunderstanding with a stranger turns into a job Kiara never imagined wanting but now desperately needs, night crawling. 
Her world breaks open even further when her name surfaces in an investigation that exposes her as a key witness in a massive scandal within the Oakland Police Department. Rich with raw beauty, electrifying intensity, and piercing vulnerability, Nightcrawling marks the stunning arrival of a voice unlike any we have heard before. Really, 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 really looking forward to that one. I'm so excited. Uh, standing in for the entire series, and I'm going to be marathoning, this is The Forgetting Moon, book one in the Five Warrior Angels trilogy by brian lee durfee the busy book club we are going to be reading this series from january to march we're going to be joined by liana from liana's library uh i will want to note that the first two books have audiobooks but book three just came out at the end of november and an audiobook isn't available yet if you want to join us so just making you aware of that but yeah this is an epic fantasy uh lots of war things like that it says it provides plenty of well-crafted spectacle thrill suspense blood thunder and a general sense of wonder there's not really much information to be gleaned from the synopsis so i'm kind of going into this one blind but i've heard really great things from the few people that i know have read it and i've heard this very underhyped so maybe we'll bring some of the hype how about that another series the next three are all series that i want to marathon so we've got assassin's fate by robin ha which is the first book in the fits in the fool trilogy but the 14th book in the realm of the otherlings y'all have heard me talk about this series ad nauseum so i'm excited to be finishing this out and i know i'm gonna be heartbroken so be on the lookout for a series reading blog of me reading the last three books in the realm of the otherlings probably gonna be you know my favorite books of the year also under the northern sky trilogy liana who i mentioned earlier is hosting a read along with this so i want to read this and the, and the premise of this is what if after like the ice age or whatever neanderthals survive and there are two species of human and hundreds of years later they go to war next up i am going to be doing a series in a week vlog where i read the entirety of the shadow and bone trilogy grishavars whatever so i'm going to be reading all seven books in this world it's going to be a spoiler filled reading vlog right before season two comes out so expect this sometime in february uh i'm really looking forward to reading this this is probably end of january beginning of february somewhere around there but i do know that season two is coming out in like march april but i'm looking forward to this i have read shadow and bone before i really enjoyed it when i read it but i am going to be rereading it to continue on with the series as a whole next up we have a couple of thrillers i'm going to be doing a video where i'm going to be reading a large number of thrillers because thrillers are like one of the like number three or number four most owned genre on my shows so i want to make a dent in that collection so we have they never learn by lane fargo which is a very good for her book i'm told it's about this woman who is essentially a serial killer and she kills the bad men that haunt the college campus where she is a professor at and then we also follow, have a secondary pov of this woman who is a student on the campus and then i have survived the night by riley sager which was his 2021 release and then it takes place i want to say in the 90s and it's about this girl uh who was a student at this college and there's like a killer running rampant on the college and then she does like a ride share home to oh, somewhere in ohio and she's riding along with this guy and she's really into movies and there's a question of could he be the killer dun 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 i haven't heard great things about that i heard that it is quite ridiculous actually but i'm looking forward to finding out for myself Another series that I want to be rereading, and that is Mistborn, uh, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is Mistborn Era 1. I recently reread the first two books in Era 2 and then finished that, trilogy, that series out. And there's an entire dedicated reading blog to that if you're interested. And I want to do the same treatment for Mistborn Era 1. This is going to be a spoiler-filled rereading blog. So if you're a Mistborn lover and you've read the series, you can watch it and have a great time with it. If you haven't read the series, I have like my original read throughs when I did vlogs on those those are spoiler free but I'm actually looking forward to really making a lot more spoilery content in the new year in this coming year because I can really talk about like my thoughts on the actual things that are happening in the book as they happen um so yeah uh I'm missing a book actually oh it's right here so the next two books are the Witchwood Apothecary reads for January in February a little bit so uh Wish Word Apothecary is Steph from Stephanie Bookish's Patreon so in the month of January we're going to be reading A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross the first book in the I want to say Songs of Cadence or something like that series and this is like Scottish fantasy uh and then also we're starting a read-along of the Graceling series by Kristen Kishore I want to read all the way on my shelves 
this is the YA fantasy that I own and my friend and other people are going to be reading it so it sounds like the perfect time to read it to me um and then my own patreon the first three books that we're going to be reading this year uh, i had them vote on the first two and i chose a third for myself so in january we're going to be buddy reading green glass house by kate milford which is a middle grade novel about this young boy i want to say he's an adopted son of these innkeepers and it's like christmas eve or sometime during the holiday season uh and they were like a smugglers in and he thinks that he's going to have his parents to himself this holiday and then people start coming and there's like a mystery involved and then in February we're going to be reading The Enigma of Room 622 by Joel Dicker. This is a Swedish translated um mystery like locked room murder mystery about a body that shows up in the room at this hotel but the room doesn't exist or isn't on the books or something like that. Um but yeah this is a, it takes place in a luxury resort in the Swiss Alps and there are a lot of peace people important people that are at the hotel at this time and uh yeah i'm excited to see like what this has to offer and then in the month of march i have decided that we're going to be reading the city of dreaming books by walter moores this is the book that was brought on my radar by reagan at peru's project so this is an interesting read i mean it's like a literary fiction kind of the main character is a dinosaur so this one says optimus yarn spinner has inherited from his godfather an unpublished manuscript by an unknown writer he sets off to track down the mysterious author who disappeared into book home the so-called city of dreaming books yarn spinner falls under the spell of this book obsessed metropolis where an avid reader and budding author can find any number of charming attractions priceless signed first editions salivating literary agents and for hired critics but as he pursues a trail of the missing author the darker side of book home begins to unveil itself cold-blooded book hunters fearsome cyclopean booklings sharp tooth and nematomes and of course the shadow king whose howls rise from deep beneath the city at night will yarn center survive his quest into the world where reading is a genuine adventure a fantastic tale for every book lover the city of dreaming books is another zany zamonian adventure from the one and only walter moores this is like part of a series i think um but this is like the first one that you should read and this is also <sighs> I don't know if it actually was translated from German or well yeah maybe I think it's translated from German let's go with that but yeah I'm excited to see what this is about and then last but not least a book that I'm going to be reading I have finally decided to start my Malazan journey with Gardens of the Moon as of right now I'm like a hundred and something pages into it this is a very interesting reading experience I am planning to film like a spoiler filled vlog or just like a reading vlog of me reading this because I have a, a lot of thoughts and I think it will be helpful for me to work through my thoughts as I read um but yeah this has been my winter TBR it is quite large but I am looking forward to reading all of these books and working on all of these videos if you have made it to the end of this video let's leave a moon emoji and of the videos that I've told you I'm going to be working on this winter tell me which one are you most excited about I'll see you in the next one goodbye